So once you have your video, the next thing is for you to come and click on this button. If you are using your laptop, you click on this button. If you are using your phone, so the button will still be there. Then you click on upload. So I'm just going to use um, a sample to do that. Then you click on select file. You choose your video you want to upload. So let me just go to this place and see if I can see any video. Uh, let me see a short video. Let me just pick a short video that doesn't have um, huge MB. How many MB is this? Okay, let me use this. Now, you click on your upload and you allow it to load like this. Now, the title of your video matters a lot. Yeah? The title of your video, it matters a lot. So you give it the title. Take, for instance, the title of this video is our first, or let's say a story, um, Adana, Adanaya and the Lost kingdom there may be a true life story a true life story now that i'm done with my title i am going to add hashtag that can suggest my video to people in case they search for it i'll use hashtag african tales African tales, then I'll use um, story. Then I'll use um, I'll use my name, Tales with Omar, so that maybe if someone search anything like Tales with Omar, YouTube can suggest my video. Now, be mindful of the length. You cannot exceed 100. That, okay, you cannot exceed 100. You cannot exceed 100. Now, the next thing is for you to give it a description. Since it is a story, story doesn't have much description. You can just, you know, this is a story about so, so, thing, so, so thing, and just give it, you know, a random story you want to give and, you know, stuff like that. So once you are done, make sure the first key words to come from your title, which is Adan Naya and the Lost Kingdom, so that if someone search for it, the person can as well use it. Copy it and put it at the first paragraph of, you know, your description. Once you are done with your description, make sure you put your relevant hashtag. You can still use the Adan Naya and the um, stuff as the hashtag. Yeah. Use it as the hashtag. Then you can put hashtag African tales. Hashtag African stories, hashtag tapes, hashtag folk tapes. Now, I am using this because I am posting a story. If your own is not story, use relevant hashtag that is related to your video. Is that okay? I repeat myself, I am posting stories. That is why my hashtag is, you know, talking about, you know, stories, folk tapes, and the rest. Once you are done, the next thing is for you to upload the thumbnail. This thumbnail is very, very important. I repeat myself, this thumbnail is very, very important. If you don't have a thumbnail, you can use, you know, okay, let me not talk about this. I will talk about this plugin. If you don't have a thumbnail, go to Canva and design a thumbnail because the thumbnail is very, very important. If you have a thumbnail, just click on it and you upload your thumbnail. So let me just search for any thumbnail here. You take for instance, this is my thumbnail. I'm going to upload my thumbnail like this. Is that okay? So once you are done, you need to scroll down. I will see together. I will see together, please. Yeah, we are good. All right, all right, all right, let's go. All right. Now, once you are done, 
click on the playlist, you need to give it a playlist. You can create a playlist so that if someone comes to your YouTube, they can see playlist by playlist. Maybe this playlist is talking about African story. If you don't have a playlist, click on this new playlist and create a new playlist for it. Is that okay? Click on this new playlist and you see new playlist. Create a new playlist for it and say save and create. Once you create, it's going to save this video inside that playlist. So let's say my own is video. Okay, let me just choose any playlist here. I'll just add it and I will click done. Now we go down. This place is very important. Where they will ask you, is this video made for kids? If you say yes, meaning anybody that is above 18 years, the person cannot watch this video. YouTube is not going to recommend this video to them. YouTube is going to recommend this video to people that are below 18. Is that okay? YouTube is going to re recommend this video to people that are below 18. So what you need to do here, make it as no, it is not made for kids so that YouTube can recommend the videos to people. Is that okay? Whether you are kids, you are not kids, you can watch this very video. Now we scroll down. If your video contains this, if your video contains a paid promotion material, you can check this. But if not, leave it like that. We scroll down. Now this altered content, if by any chance AI helped you to do anything on the content, then you can say yes. As you can see, do any of the following describe your content? Makes a real person appear to say or do what blah, 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 blah. Generate a realistic looking scene that is like actually What? Ibrahim, you said what? I have a talk challenge. Who? You? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, yeah, boss. Yes, you can hear now. Yeah, the network is... Yeah, yeah. But right, no the, the network is checking. No pro don't worry, don't worry. I am recording it. I will, I will upload it on my YouTube later so that we can have a reward. Now, the next thing is for us to scroll down to automatic chapter. Make it allow. Then, future places, leave it as allow. Then, scroll down. Allow automatic concept, make it yes. Now, this is the most important place. Whether your video will go better or not, it depends on this, your tags. It depends on this, your tags. So this is where you will now add relevant tags that you need on your video. E.g., African taste, taste, folk taste, African stories, ETC. So all the tags that you know that tags can still be your keywords. All those words that you know that if someone search for it, YouTube will suggest the video to the person. You are going to put it here. Now, like myself, I don't need to type all this because mm -hmm. I am using a premium plugin that I told you guys. As you can see, the premium um, um, plugin has generated ads that can actually promote my video. All I just need to do is just to click them. It's going to, you know, add it for me. I will just click them. I don't need to type them. Please, can we mute? Can we mute? Thank you. Can we mute? Please. Thank you. Is that okay? So now you must fill all your tag to at least 450 words, but it must not exceed 500. I repeat myself your tags must get up to at least 450 words, but it must not exceed 500. So if you don't have this very plugin I'm talking about, are going to type your tag manually. Is that okay? You are going to type your tags manually. Now, once you are done with your tags, the next thing you scroll down, your video language, if it is English, you make it English. Now, this caption certification, always make it to be this content has never aired on television. But if you don't want to use it, put it at none. Is that okay? If you don't want to use it, put it at none. Then when is the recorded date? When did you record your video? I recorded this video 30. I'm going to put it 30. Which location are you? I'm in Nigeria. So I'm going to choose Nigeria. 
I'm going to choose Nigeria. Is that okay? And every other thing is okay. Okay, now look at this place that wrote publish to subscription feed on check it. Because if you check it, they will only publish it to your subscribers. It will not go to the general feed on check it. Then leave the rest like that. On that category, if your video is about story, this is important. Make sure you know the category you want to put your video on. You can leave it on how to and style, or you can leave it on people and blog. Is that okay? You can leave it at people and blog. Comment and rate it, leave it on. Once you are done with this setting, click on next. Now, this very place is very important. This very place is very important. Click on this ad to add end screen. If you are watching YouTube, you see at the end of the video, you will see like two double video will just appear at the end. Like you can watch this video again or recommended video for you and actually choose from this frame. You click on any of the frames, scroll down, select the video you want to appear there. Maybe I want this video to appear there. I click this other one. I choose a video. I want this other video to appear there. So many before you finish watching my video, two other videos are going to appear on my screen asking you to watch it. Is that okay? Once you are done, you click on save. Then once you click on save, you go to the next stage. Are we together? Are we together? Yes, but the network is... All right. No, don't worry. I am recording. I'm recording. I'm, I'm going to replay. I'm going to replay it. Now, once you are done, you click on okay. next. Thank you. You click on next again. Now, if you want to publish your video immediately, click on publish. But if you don't want to publish your video now, you want... um people to watch the video later. Maybe you want the video to, or to post tomorrow mm. by 6 p.m. You come and choose schedule, schedule video. Mm. Then you choose the date of the schedule video. Mm. If you want the video to automatically play tomorrow, and maybe 6 p.m., you choose what? 18 o'clock, yeah. which is your 6 p.m. Is that okay? You choose 18 o'clock, which is your 6 p.m., and you schedule the video. Now, quickly talk about what is the best time to post your videos on YouTube. The best time to post your videos on YouTube is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. The best time to post your video on YouTube is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. But I recommend between 5 to 6 p.m. Please put this at the back of your mind. The best time for you to post your videos on your YouTube channel as a new beginner, please, from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the evening. Is that okay? Is that okay? I will give room for questions before we continue. Yes. All right, continue. Questions? Questions. Okay, you talked about um, yours, your own YouTube being a premium. It means you subscribe, you paid for it. Okay, uh, let me show you something. Now, I am using a plugin that helps facilitate my YouTube growth. Is that okay? I am using a plugin that help facilitate my YouTube growth. Now, this, if you check my Chrome, it is a Chrome extension. You can see, if you are seeing my screen, this is a plugin. Now, with this plugin, it helps me to work on my SEO, it helps me to work on my top name, and it helps me to auto-generate items for my video. Now, the reason why my views, you know, are growing up speedily and my subscribers are you know, growing up speedily is because of the help of the plugin. Now, this plugin helps you, it gives you, it gives you additional speed on your channel. Are we okay? It gives you additional speed on your channel. Now, the name of this plugin is called TubeBuddy. The name of this plugin is called 
YouTube body. Now, with this plugin, it comes with a Chrome extension. You are going to install it as a Chrome extension if you are using a laptop. Is that okay? What I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the link on the platform. Then I am still going to make an extensive video about this very plugin. Is that okay? I'm still going to make an extensive video about this plugin so that as many persons that are interested to get the plugin, you can get it yourself. The plugin is not expensive and they have promotion code. Is that okay? They have promotion code. All you need to do is buy it and attach it as an add-on to your Chrome. Now, whenever you want to upload, the plugin will suggest options for you. Is that okay? Like as I am, if I click on it, I can work on my keyword. You know, if I even suggest short reels, the kind of video you can be posting, and it can even generate thumbnails for you. Is that okay? Like I said, I am still going to make an extensive video about the plugin. But what I wanted to do today is teach us how we can upload, you know, how we can use hashtag and the best time for us to upload. Is that okay? Any other question? Any other question, please? Sir? Yeah, please, go on. Yes, sir, I have a question. Sir. All right. Sir, please, how about people with a phone? How will I be able to use a plugin with my phone? Um, People with phone, I would recommend you turn your phone to desktop. Like the way I taught you then, if you open your phone, you click on that three dotted line at the top right of your phone. Then if you scroll down, you are going to see desktop view. You just check it. You just make sure you check it. Then if you turn your mobile view to as if it is desktop, then you can use so meaning anytime you want to upload your video, you must turn on the desktop view. If not, that plugin will not appear. But still, I recommend you get a system. That is why at the beginning of the class, I told everyone, phone is good, but system will be very, you know, preferred because phone is going to kind of delay you a bit. Phone is, is going to limit you. There are some things you cannot do with your phone. So please do well. If you want to go fast on this very um, line, you need a laptop. Just do well to get a laptop. Any other question? Hello. Hi, Kwasim. Okay. I have a question, and I don't know if my question can be addressed here. It has to do with the, the video editing on CapCut. Okay. I have a story that is more of a conversation, probably two or three people talking. Okay. So, and I found out that when I generated uh, um, my my audio using um, Clipchart, I just generated every, every, everything at once. So now, now I now import it to to um, CapCut. So how do I make it in such a way that two or three people will be talking, you know, along the way? Okay. Some some persons are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some persons are saying they, they don't have Zoom. They don't have Zoom. Uh, okay, I'm coming. Okay, guys, you know what I'm going to do? Let me create a Google Meet so that everybody can participate. Some persons are complaining they don't have Zoom. Let me quickly create a Google Meet. Everybody has Chrome. Let me just create a Google Meet and send the link. Please rejoin with the Google Meet. Is that okay, please? Is that okay? Let me quickly create a Google okay, Meet sir. and send uh, the link. Everybody join with the Google Meet. Uh, no problem, sir. Okay, no problem. 